How's it going? My name is Tyler Brown, and by the end of this video, you'll feel confident in refinishing your butcher block island or countertop. I'll go through all the steps and show you exactly what's needed to make it look amazing. For this project, you're really only gonna need one tool, and that is a random orbital sander. Now, if you're gonna do this indoors, I would highly recommend hooking up a shop vac or a dust extractor. That way your house isn't filled with dust. If you don't have one of those, you can easily take this outside, set it up on some saw horses, and it'll work just fine. The same paper you're gonna to wanna to start with is 80 grit, and that will take your butcher block down to raw wood and remove any kind of stains, blemishes, or any imperfections. When you're sanding your butcher block island or countertop, there's a few things you need to watch out for. The first is how much pressure you're applying to your sander. It's gonna do the majority of the work for you. So I would recommend just a slight pressure on your sander just to keep it flat on the work surface. And that leads me into my next tip. Don't tilt your sander from side to side Make sure you're keeping it flat because when you do tilt it, you're gonna leave some very deep scratches that you're not gonna be able to get out. If you notice that you're not making much progress, go ahead and swap out your sanding disc. It may not seem like there's a big difference, but there definitely is, and you'll be able to sand a lot faster. Also, if you're working on a big project, plan to go through quite a few sanding discs. These things tend to get gummed up pretty quick. Another tip to make your finish just a little bit better is when you're sanding, to sand along the grain of the wood. That way, if your sander does leave any scratches, that it does blend in with the grain of the wood and you won't notice it when you're finished. Now that we've sanded the butcher block to raw wood, removing any of the blemishes or imperfections, we can start sanding it to a nice smooth finish. And the way that you do that is you sand progressively through the different grits of sandpaper. And we started with 80, which is good to get to the raw wood. Next, we'll do 120 then 180, and then finish up with 220 to give us a nice smooth finish to work with. One thing that you can do between the different grits of sandpaper is lightly mark with a pencil on your butcher block, and that'll give a good indicator of where you've sanded and if you've sanded enough. Once you have the top and the side sanded to 220 grit, the next step is working on the edges. Now here you have a few options. You can either sand them by hand using a sanding block or just some sandpaper, or you could use a router and install a router bit to give a more decorative edge. Or what you could do is continue with the random orbital sander and just slowly make a round over edge using 220 grit sandpaper. To me, that's the easiest and quickest way to get a slight round over edge without the hassle of getting out a router and installing a bit. Now that we're done sanding, we can prep the surface for finish. Key is gonna be getting all the dust off of the butcher block. Now you can either use compressed air, or in my case, since I'm inside, I'm gonna be using a vacuum and a soft brush. Once you're done sweeping up all the dust, go ahead and get a pair of gloves and a tack cloth, which you can pick up at your local hardware store. And what this will do is pick up any of the fine dust particles that are still on your butcher block. Now that the butcher block is in perfect condition, it's time to apply some finish. And I'm gonna be using Osmo Poly X oil in a clear mat. It's a hard wax oil that is safe and super easy to apply while also being repairable. In the past, applying finishes has been my biggest fear. And honestly, it's held me back in a lot of projects. So I've got a video right up here where you can learn step-by-step -step on how to apply the Osmo Poly X oil. That way you're not worried or concerned about applying it to your butcher block. So go check that video out and let me know if you have any questions.